Hey everyone, it's me Blanche and it's the season for butternut squash. One of my favorite squashes because I love the texture and the sweetness and it's not only delicious to eat but it's a beautiful vessel for putting grains and vegetables and other legumes in there. So that's why I'm going to share with you one of my favorite vegan recipes right here on Feast in the Middle East. So I'm gonna share with you one of the most beautiful dishes featuring butternut squash, and a lot of people are intimidated by it, but there's really nothing to be intimidated about. So just make sure to cut it in half with a knife away from you. And you see these seeds in the middle? We're just gonna core this out using a spoon. It's the simplest thing ever. It's even more simpler than, you know, everybody spends so much time coring out pumpkins for Halloween, which are far more complex than butternut squash. But for some reason, when they see butternut squash, they freak out and wonder what to do with it. Well, this is the easiest preparation that I've ever, ever seen. So we're gonna just take out the seeds and the pulp from the inside, just like that. And what we're gonna do is put it on a pan like this. And to make it super easy, I just like spray olive spray. You could put like coconut spray, whatever. There's some olive oil, just like that. And some salt and pepper pepper and I'm going to put this in the oven for about 50 minutes at 400 degrees um, it depends on the butternut squash if you have a ginormous one put it for a full hour but you want it nice soft and tender and I'll show you what it should look like when it's done Your beautiful butternut squash should look like this a little bit blistered on the top and it's going to be nice and tender to the touch perfect for eating so this is what I'm going to put the filling in now let's go to the next step the next step is if you guys watched my show before, you know I'm crazy about my Palestinian farmer's box. And this Palestinian farmer's box has meftul. Now meftul, this particular meftul was hand rolled uh, by a Palestinian women's cooperative. It's made with whole wheat and it's very easy to cook. It's actually more quick cooking than even regular couscous, I swear. So what I'm gonna do is basically put a half a cup half a cup of the uh, couscous. You could use any kind of couscous. This is maftoul, so this is the Palestinian kind. And I'm gonna add one cup of vegetable broth. Let's turn on the heat below it. And I'm just gonna season it with a bit of onion salt. Now you could put onion powder, salt, garlic powder, whatever you like. And a tiny bit of cumin, just like a dash. Just a little cumin, probably like a quarter teaspoon. And I'm gonna let this boil, and once it boils, I'm gonna let it simmer for probably seven minutes. So follow package direction, so directions to any kind of grain. I mean, you don't have to use this. You could use bulgur wheat, you could use farro, you could use couscous, you could use quinoa, you could use any kind of grain you want. You could even use cauliflower rice if you don't wanna use a grain. So while that is about to boil, I'm gonna start heating up the pan right now to cook up some, um, I took like a whole head of Swiss chard and I just cut it up, I washed it, chopped it up like this of Swiss chard. So I'm going to add this to the pan, just like that. I'm doing this like super quick style. Usually I like saute the garlic first and then, then I add the Swiss chard. No guys, I'm just gonna do everything. This is like for when you want a quick uh, weeknight meal, you want it fast and you don't have time to mess around. You have like 10 minutes to get dinner on the table. This is how I'm serving this. All right, so I'm just gonna saute this until the Swiss chard wilts, which won't take much time to be honest. All right, now to the Swiss chard, I'm gonna add some chickpeas, about a third a cup of chickpeas, and let's season all this stuff. So we're gonna add some salt and some pepper. And we're just gonna saute this a little more. We're gonna season it with herbs. I really like dried mint, because that's the Mediterranean way. I mean, uh, not dried mint, this is actually fresh mint. I like fresh mint to add to this. And since I had uh, some meftul already cooked, I'm going to add it to this as well. So this is already cooked. I already had this in my refrigerator, guys. So that's what you could do is you could cook grains on the weekends and then add it to whatever dishes you want during the week for a really quick week prep. As you can tell, I really love beautiful colors in my cooking. 
And I'm going to fill the butternut squash with this, but the beauty of this is, you know, any leftovers, you can use this as a side dish. You don't have to eat it with butternut squash, or you could eat it as a main dish if you want. It's a great vegetarian main dish. I'm also gonna add about a third cup of cranberries to add some sweetness and pretty color. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love the smell, you know, because we had cooked the maftoul with a little bit of cumin and onion salt. You add, have that extra flavor. Now let me make sure that it's properly seasoned. Mmm. This is awesome. Okay, so I was like a bit of a dressing. So I've got like two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of fresh orange juice. I'm just going to whisk this around and just pour some over. This will prevent it from getting dry, like when you have leftovers. And the citrus from the orange is gonna balance out the sweetness from and the tartness from the cranberries. This is really, really beautiful, guys. I wish you could smell this. Okay, so for assembly, this is how you serve it. You just put a bunch in there. And you could just core out and eat the entire butternut squash. Or if you, if you want like less squash and more filling, you could core out more. But this is just like for presentation purposes, I think this is like really, really pretty. So here we go. Look at that. I'm telling you, this is really fun to eat. You could literally, like I said, you could like core it out and eat it. You could core out more and just stuff it more. It's, it's really up to you. I'm just gonna try a little bit of the filling here. This is divine. I love the flavors. You know me, I like sweet and salty. It's everything I want in my dinner. All the food groups. People say, how do you maintain good skin? Include five fruits or vegetables in all of your meals and you're good to go. If you want more vegan meals like this, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell next to Blanche TV. And I really appreciate all of you Patreons that have been supporting my channel. It's because of you that I'm able to support this production and keep it going. So thank you. And if you want to become a Patreon, that's where I give you behind the scenes information on all of the recipes, all the cooking. I give you bonus recipes. So sign on and become a Patreon for as little as a buck a month. A little can go a long way. And your name can even be in the credits at the $2 scale. Until next time, sahtain. Mmm.